Hi, Charlene Brisson, Three Step Marketing Pro here. How are you today? Welcome to Marketing on the Go. I'm just on my way to Santa. Where am I going to? Oh, I'm going to Santa Monica for Amazing Women's Day. And it's going to be pretty amazing. I just went through the toll bridge on Highway 73 on my way up. I go through Los Angeles. It's the first time that I'm driving out of San Diego since I've gotten down here just after Christmas. And uh, it's pretty quiet. I've rented a place on the beach in Oceanside. And it's pretty much an advertising-free zone. I can't believe it. There's, like, no, nothing going on in the beach. There's, like, a McDonald's little shacky thing that's closed down. But oh, there I go talking about McDonald's again. Um, that's closed down and a little espresso shop. But other than that, there's really nothing going on. So I'm really excited about going up to Santa Monica and doing the drive through Los Angeles, although it's all on highway. It's exciting and it's fun. And because I'm the one driving, I decided to pull over to do my marketing on the go. So what's going on in marketing? Let's see. Well, it's Saturday morning, got up really early today. And um, the radio is filled, the AM dial is filled with mm, shows that are sponsored radio shows that are sponsored. So primarily we've got health, um, finance, and computer shows. And so the uh, interesting thing about that, and when I say they're sponsored, is that um, someone actually buys that airtime. It's like an infomercial. So it could be a half an hour show, an hour show. Someone buys that airtime. It's usually a company that buys it or someone who has their own you know, they're a high-profile person, and, and they have their own shtick going. They've got their own business. And so they're able to um, buy that airtime and then sell ads around it. Or vice versa, it's someone who just really wants to be on the air, and so they buy that airtime and they sell ads around it. And so it's a good opportunity for you to really target a client, a customer, that's interested in that specific topic and often the rates the ad rates and the sponsorship rates are fairly low and you get a, you get people like myself who are interested in something specific and they're right in there so it's a good place to find a really hot hot uh, target market and a hot, hot client and so I'm listening to computer stuff because I love listening to uh, the computer shows and what they're mostly talking about right now uh, are apps. And you hear it all the time in apps. What's an app? App this, app that, smartphone apps, computer apps. Well, all they are is it's just short form for application. And applications are all the little um, cool things you can do on your smartphone, on your um on your iPad, on your your computers in general now. And so it's there. There, I guess you you could call it small, sort of um, mini software uh, applications. So it's mini software applications, and of course, mostly known for uh, the the touch phones. And of course, BlackBerry's got them. I've picked myself up a Galaxy Fascinate. I know iPhone users and iPhone users are just so dedicated and Apple users are so dedicated but I wasn't able to get an iPhone through Verizon which has fabulous coverage around the states and so I got a Galaxy but I love it <laughs> oh, I love it where is it I don't even know I don't have it here first of all it's so pretty <laughs> which is a really dumb thing to say but you know what it really is pretty um, but over and beyond that is that it's it's my first experience with a touch phone, and it's uh, it's incredibly uh, easy to use. And I, okay, when I say first experience, I have had the experience where I borrowed someone's iPhone and I couldn't type three words in it to save my life, and so I decided that if. A huge percentage of the world, like millions of people own iPhones and plus millions more own touch phones, 
here's like here's a touch phone here's my galaxy um, if if millions of people do that then I should be able to figure out how to do that too so surprisingly enough once I just set my mind to it I was able to uh, text easily send messages easily and with a touch of a button I have uh, I have all my emails right here and I can just flip through them and I have my photos and I can take pictures and video and I have a gazillion apps there's there's my favorite word a gazillion apps and I can do Facebook really easy and Twitter really easy and LinkedIn which is really what I wanted to do is to be able to stay on top of social media so what else uh, marketing oh customer service customer service I I did a um, uh, search for I was looking for a 1-800 number company and so I found this one you know it was the middle of the night almost and uh, I was doing some research online because where do you go where do people go to find information now is they go to Google they go online and they search and maybe it's not Google for them maybe it's Bing but the majority of people still are using Google as their search engine that's where we find information it's it's just that's where life is so that's why it's so critical for you to have a website and to have a uh, your search engine optimization in place so that when they go look for you you're on top because what is it 42 percent of people click on the first the first organic link and only 1.2 percent of people click on the first paid link on the paid links so the paid links paid listings in a search engine and they're pretty much all the same are right up at the top and people pay to be there and then they are and they usually have a really lightly shaded background they try and trick you it used to be dark darker shading now you got to almost tilt your screen to see if it's shaded and if it's a sponsored link and they also the paid ones run down the side because only 1.1.2 percent of people click on those and they're paid however 42 percent click on the first link and more people click on the the bottom listing of a Google homepage then pan then click on top paid that's really incredible information and so the top five listings organic which means that no one paid for them they're just there because they've done a good job of optimizing their site are on that top um, the top five is where you really want to be anyway so I found one that kept coming up and it was doing called phone people and uh, they offered some pretty cool services and stuff so I, I registered for my my 1-800 uh, number and then they were going to contact or confirm it in the morning so I get the phone anyway long story short is that I had a terrible experience I had I got an email from them saying you need to call us to confirm your 800 number so I phoned them da -da -da -da, I get through the customer service guy and he is so rude but not in a really blatantly rude ignorant way in a avoiding my question in um, having absolutely no personality showing no uh, interest in what it is that I was asking because I had another question for him and I was being nice I was on my I had my good Charlene face on and so so I ended up saying you know what I'm just gonna cancel this I'm gonna cancel this because this is if this is the way that I'm being treated upon my first introduction to this company I don't want to have anything to do with you that's phone people and so uh, I had no problem doing that and and he actually wouldn't even let me talk to anybody else <laughs> talk to his manager I'd have to phone back in so that just tells me they're ranking in company or they uh, or he's just not being cooperative on any level so anyway I did finally I found uh, Office Depot I went with a business that had a reputation and um, also I did some more searching and and I found them and so that person was so accommodating and sweet and I had just called her for a question and had me signing up like right 
then and there. So that's what you want. Marketing is not just about the ad you place out there. Marketing isn't just about, about uh, you know, having a good sales pitch and a face-to-face and a 30-second uh, elevator pitch. Marketing infiltrates every piece of your organization. And that's just an example. In fact, the most exciting thing that happened to me, and for goodness sakes, I can't remember who it was, but I phoned and they said, hi, my name is da 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 What can I do today to put a smile on your face? Well, just that in itself, put a smile on my face and set me up for a really positive conversation. Although, of course, I can't remember who it was, but I will remember at some point. Anyway, having uh, a great time experiencing what California has to offer and, uh, and, 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 you know, again, I can't, I can't say enough how important it is to get out there and see a different world. And I'm dressed up today. I haven't been dressed up for about three weeks. <laughs> and, and so nothing happens if you don't get out of your house. And that's why I'm going to this amazing women's day event because uh, I plan on meeting some really amazing women and doing some networking and getting some business done. Now, I'm going to I'm going to just go out there and and make things happen for myself and for my business. And so that's what you should be doing. So thanks for joining me on Marketing on the Go. And uh, I hope to see you back here again. Now go get at her.